Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about ethical issues in experimental animal research. So, but before anything else, let's try to identify some of those uh, terms like laboratory animals. So, when you say laboratory animals, it refers to any vertebrate animal produced for use in research, testing, or teaching. This includes traditional laboratory animals, agricultural animals, wildlife, and aquatic species. Another word that we are going to look into is animal use. This refers to the proper care, use, and humane treatment of laboratory animals produced for or used in research, testing, or teaching. Animal experimenting. Animal experimenting refers to this as where scientists experiment on animals such as rats, mice, guinea pigs, some other animals get tested on as well as dogs, cats, monkeys, gorillas, hamster, and many more. Why is animal welfare important? It is important because animals have rights too. Animals around the world are suffering from being used for medicine and scientific studies. And animals are not ours to eat, wear, experiment on, use for, exp for entertainment, and abuse. What are the benefits of animal research? First, we increase in life expectancies because of the use of animal research. Of course, we have economic impact because of the amount of medicines that are developed from animal research. We are able also to develop or the of drug treatments, vaccines, and surgical procedures by the use of animal research. We even initial do some initial testing of powerful medical drugs using animal research. And of course, thousands of people save from diseases such as swine flu, malaria, and also cancer treatment. What are the legislation or what is the legislation of the Philippines that support this particular animal welfare? Now in 1998, we are able to enact the Republic Act number 8485. It is considered to be the Animal Welfare Act of 1998. And in section 6 of this particular Republic Act, it is stated that it shall be unlawful for any person to torture any animal, to neglect to provide adequate care, sustenance or shelter or maltreat any animal or to subject any dog or horse to dog bites or horse bites, kill or cause or procure to be tortured or deprived of adequate care, sustenance or, or shelter, or maltreat of use the same in research or experiments not expressly authorized by the Committee on Animal Welfare. The killing of any animal other than cattle, pigs, goats, sheep, poultry, rabbits, carabaos, horses, deer, and crocodiles is likewise hereby declared unlawful except in the following instances. First, because of its religious lit rituals. Number two, afflicted with an incurable diseases. To put an end to the misery suffered by the animal. To prevent an imminent danger to the life or limb of a human being. Animal population control and authorized research, and any other ground analogous to the foregoing as determined and certified by a licensed veterinarian. There are some institutions that we considered as institu Institutional Animal Care and Use Committee or IACUC. But what is the mandate of this particular IACUC? It is mandated with the responsibility for ensuring adherence to appropriate national and international policies and regulations in the care and use of live animals in research and teaching activities. The types of experiments that need IACUC approval are all work involving direct interactions with live vertebrates only. Everyone working with animals must receive lectures and laboratory animal handling training. And it may take one to eight weeks to get IACUC approval for an for an amendment or protocol. Obtaining animals or tissue that were already dead does not need IACOC approval because IACOC approval is effective for one year only. Animal Ethics Committee In some institutions, we have here UP Manila, UP Diliman, Xavier Ateneo, and USD. The three R's are actually the one that is being followed in the IACUC, described by WMS Russell and R. L. Borch in 1959. The three R's are replacement, reduction, replacement, replacement which refers to the preferred use of non-animal methods over animal methods, 
whenever it is possible to achieve the same scientific aim. Reduction, which refers to methods that enable researchers to obtain comparable levels of information from fewer animals or obtain more information from the same number of animals. Refinement, which refers to methods that alleviate or minimize potential pain, suffering, or distress and enhance animal welfare for the animal's use. Important forms that is used in, in science research competitions. We have vertebrae form or vertebrae animal form 5A. This is required for all research involving vertebrate animal that is conducted in the school, home, field, and field research site. Now this one is actually being signed by the SRC approval before the experimentations. And there are some details that you need to accomplish before conducting the experimentation. In this case, we are able to see here some of the signature of the designated supervisor or qualified scientist and of course a veterinarian. Vertebrate animal form 5B. This form is required for all research involving vertebrate animals that is conducted in a regulated research institutions. Of course, IACOC approval is required before the experimentation. And this particular form must be completed and signed after the experimentations. Again, there are some details that should be completed by the qualified scientist or principal investigator. And qualified scientists and principal investigators should be able to sign these particular forms. If the project students, if the students' project also involves the use of tissues, you have to complete forms 6A and 6B. For potentially hazardous biological agents risk assessment forms, that is 6A, this required for research involving microorganisms, RDNA, fresh frozen tissues, including primary cell lines, humans, and other primate established cell lines and tissue cultures, blood, blood products, and body fluids. This particular material should be approved by SRC, IACOC, and IBC before experimentations. Again, qualified scientists or designated supervisors should be able to complete this particular form. There are three sections of this particular form, namely, Project assessments, whereas you're going to identify now the potential hazardous biological agents that should be used in the experimentations. And now section number two, training. What are the trainings that the students receive from this particular project? Or the trainings of the experience, the trainings or experiences of designated supervisors that is related to the area of research that is being conducted. And third, section three, for all cell lines, microorganisms, and tissues to be completed by a qualified scientist or designated supervisor. Again, these particular forms should be signed and certified by the qualified scientists or designated supervisors. Section 4, certification to be completed by the local or affiliated FAIR SRC. The SRC has seen this project's research plan and supporting documentations and acknowledges the accuracy of the information provided above. I think so we have now human vertebrae or human and vertebrae animal tissue form 6b this particular form is required for research involving fresh frozen tissue including primary cell lines humans and other primates established cell lines and tissue cultures all projects using any tissue listed above must also complete from the form 6a This will be completed by the qualified scientist or designated supervisor also. Those are the issues that we are going to talk about, that we have talked about regarding with the animal experimentation. Thank you and my references.